Hello, everyone. I'm Mark, founder of Riot Games, and uh, this is really fun for me to be here with you all. Uh, obviously, I'm a sports fan, grew up playing pretty much every ball sport you could think about. And uh, there's actually a lot of similarities between video games and, and sports, as I hope many of you are starting to believe. But uh, you know, this background of me playing sports and loving all things competitive is one of the reasons that myself and a, my business partner, Brandon Beck, ended up founding an online video game company called Riot Games to come try to help bring uh, esports to life. And when we created this company, Riot, um, you know, it's interesting. We actually tried to create a mission-driven company. And this may come as somewhat of a surprise to everybody, but at Riot, the fundamental reason that we exist is we view ourselves as a service business, which is trying to deliver great experiences to our fans. So if you woke up any rioter in the middle of the night, and Riot, rioter is the name for employee, essentially our, our word that we use for employee, and you ask them, what is Riot's mission? We want them to have such deep conviction in this desire to serve our players that they would say, you know, to be the most player-focused game cover in the world, sir! You know, where it's, it's sort of entrenched in who they are and how we think about things. And we actually believe that our only sustainable competitive advantage over the long term is this deep passion for serving our audience and this uh, deep belief that we can relate to their experience and really try to put the player in the center of all of our decision making, which means that we do a lot of things that are counterintuitive and oftentimes uh, sort of buck the conventional wisdom of how uh, most businesses operate. But it's worked so far. We, of course, uh, only have an N of one. So even though we are called Riot Games, uh, we technically are actually Riot Game. The S is still aspirational at this point. But the good news is the one game that we have created, which is called League of Legends, uh, is a pretty successful game. Um, and just had a show of hands, how many of you have heard of League of Legends before this talk today? All right, well, a lot of you. And obviously, I think everybody's heard of esports, but how many of you sort of still believe that esports is kind of an absurd concept, right? The, the fact that people want to sit around and watch other people play video games. It's, it's very okay if you believe that, right? All right, well, not many hands, but how, how many of you would have believed that five years ago? Right, that is, all right, well, a lot more hands. And well, you're not alone. Right? It's, it's very much okay that, uh, you know, that many people still harbor this belief. Um, but we think that that's starting to change. And um, you know, today, I really want to give you guys a glimpse into the world of League of Legends and a little bit of the world of esports to help uh, show you what's happening and maybe help inspire a little bit of thinking for how some of these concepts could maybe apply to the traditional sports business. Uh, or team ownership or things like that as well. Because I think even though esports itself is a fast growing segment, there's probably a lot of opportunities to learn from what's happening that, that may be applicable uh, for what everyone else does. But just to take a moment to briefly describe the game of League of Legends, uh, it's essentially it's a team-based game where there's two teams of five that battle each other, and the goal is for one team to destroy the enemy's base. So, and each player chooses from one of a huge roster of unique and interesting for lack of a better term, superheroes. Uh, you know, we'll, we call them champions in League of Legends. Uh, but rather than, say, a Marvel Universe or Wolverine or you know, X-Men, things like that, you know, we have our own world which we created, our own intellectual property, uh, and these are fantasy superheroes, but we call it sort of modern fantasy. And you know, just like the game sounds pretty simple, the actual depth of the experience comes from how skillful it is, how competitive it is, and the engagement with other players. In a similar way to, say, how soccer you know, which is two teams of 11, which are you know, essentially trying to put a round ball in a uh, opposing team's net you know, more times than the other team within 90 minutes. Uh, is an, it sounds very simple, but of course, the depth and complexity comes from the skill, the interactions, and the fact that other humans that are motivated to try to beat you are going to come up with lots of clever ways to uh, out-execute you. And that's really the same dynamic that exists for esports. So you know, even though it may sound you know, difficult to understand, it's, it's, it's not once you really uh, really try to dive in. But a lot of the rest of the world looks at esports this way, 